action. New at 11, the vibe and the rhythm of nightlife in West Palm Beach might soon be changing, but first developers and city leaders have to figure out how to fill a place called the Donut Hole. News Channel 5's Brian Enton live in West Palm Beach with how some investors are trying to change the area. Brian. Michael, if you've walked in this area between Clematis and City Place, you've probably noticed there's just not much development. It's sort of dark. You see there's even abandoned buildings over here, empty fields and parking lots. People we talked to tonight say they just avoid this area. You mentioned it. It's actually called the Donut Hole. There is development surrounded, but in the middle, it's a dead zone. The streets are packed Friday night jamming at City Place. Just as much action five blocks away along Clematis Street. But in between, it is quiet and dark. If you look around, it's not that well lit and there's like not really anything there but like bushes. Because it's dark, Amy Mattingly and her friends normally drive the couple of blocks between City Place and Clematis, known as the Donut Hole. Make it like one big thing would be kind of cool or at least have little like spots along the way and you can kind of like bar hop. That's where restaurant and gallery owner Tony Solo comes in. When I purchased the, the properties with my partners uh, back in 2005, uh, that's what I was calling it back then. There's a donut in the city of West Palm Beach. Now he has transformed this block with his wine bar. As West Palm goes through this renaissance of sorts, um, it really is the uh, holds the key to uh, the future growth. This was once an abandoned warehouse. Tonight, it's turned into a chic art party. West Palm Beach has tremendous potential, and I really see the future of this city. With the potential of City Place expanding north, plans for more condos and small business owners like Tony, the donut hole between West Palm's hotspots might not be a donut for long. Definitely some type of strategic planning where um, we could just link the two and make it fun and safe and put together. Another big component to this donut hole is the all aboard Florida station that will be built just a few blocks from here. The hope is that that will pump major energy and money into this area. That on top of almost a billion dollars we're learning that is going to be spent likely in downtown West Palm Beach on development in the coming years. Live in downtown West Palm Beach, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.